mistake done then to say ball players are gay? I mean, to a gay ball player, what's it mean? Sliding in the home. <laughs> Think about it. Come on. And everybody's coming out of the closet. Rosie O'Donnell. How they stuck that fat bitch in there in the first place? I don't know. It's disgusting. Everybody's coming out of the closet. Superman. The man of steel got caught eating rebar. <laughs> you tell the construction guys in here, they got that joke. Hell yeah. And I'll tell you what else is disgusting. Billy Ray Cyrus. He's gay. Because I bought Aiky Breaky Heart. You know what's on the backside? My freaking reeking butt. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the world's gone crazy, huh? The hell's going on in the news, too. These crazy terrorists. You know, they say you can't talk about religion and politics in a bar, but wasn't this country funded by a bunch of drunks in a pub? I mean, think about it, right? And I gotta ask the question, if we are created in his image, and maybe Darwin was right, how come there aren't more geniuses running around? I say a 20% increase in IQs, God grant us, and we wouldn't need so many lawyers or warning labels on hot cups of coffee. Because the geniuses we got, what the hell do they know? They say the world began with a big bang. Bullshit, everybody knows before the big bang, you're going to have a big suck. <laughs> Think about it. When it comes to big, big bangs, these six suicide bombers, they think they're going to get 72 virgins in heaven. Let me tell you, folks, I got four sisters, two ex-wives, and three mother-in-laws. Screw this PMS. Yeah, but women have PMS. Man, we have the remote control. The remote control. And as soon as guys think they have total control, it hits us. Death. And what is death anyways but God saying to us, Hey, you, come here. I have to talk to you. Hasta la vista. Because when you're God, it's time for a stroke, a heart attack, or some death rattling thing. But nothing to fear, though, nothing to fear. I ain't going kicking and screaming in heaven because the wine's free. And when my body hits the ground, I'm going to thank God I'll never get married again. All right, I went a long way to get to that, didn't I? Hey, at this point in time, what I want to do, I want to get my buddy out. Actually, I'm on the road a lot, and i gotta, I got to explain to you fellas. Uh, 50 years I've been alive now, thank God. And uh, The only thing I learned about love is the best time to get my lady's panties off is when she's drying her nails. Because <laughs> when ladies are drying their nails, man, you can get away with anything. That's right. So anyways, I'm on the road a lot. Actually, I'm homeless. Tonight's the day of the week I change my underwear. So maybe that loud crowd in the corner <laughs> would like to see my underwear. I want to apologize right now if I accidentally expose my bird. All right, here we go, here we go, folks. We read that? Try it again. <laughs> All right, Bernie, here we go, here we go. We got a live one tonight. Here we go, here we go. I wish I were sitting close to really get there. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Oscar. This is my fine feathered friend, Bernie. And tonight, before your very eyes, you will witness a death defying feat. This is Bird goes flying across from the over there. Then he's going to fly south, going to swan dive, do a loop to loop. He's going to end up here on my shoulder. What do you mean, no? You told me you were going to fly. How far am I going to get with your hand up my ass? <laughs> you look like a proctologist. All right, knock it off now. You said you were going to fly. What I said was, I'm going to do my impression of a stealth bomber. I'm going to fly over your head and drop a load. What? Boop occurs. Boop occurs? Yeah, shit happens. <laughs> you know what Buddy Hackett said? No, what did Buddy Hackett said? He don't care if there's three California condors left. One shits on his car, there's only going to be two. <laughs> Laugh, you bastards. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down, there's a lovely audience. Look at these beautiful people here. Look at these beautiful ladies. Hi, ladies, are you here to laugh? <laughs> yes. Can I tickle your ass with a feather? What? <laughs> it's a particularly nasty weather. Hey, you behave yourself. You can't talk to this lady like that. Her boyfriend's going to kick your butt. Hell, he's a queer. What? <laughs> I said he drinks light beer. Bernie! He's got a real weak bladder. Oh, he does, does he? Yeah, I saw him in a men's room, and he's got a $100 bill tattooed on the end of his thing. Bernie, why would that man have a $100 bill tattooed on the end of his thing? He told me he never met a woman yet. Good blow, 100 bucks. <laughs> Lady, you're laughing. I saw you giving him change back. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Now her boyfriend's gonna kick your butt. 
Come here, kick your ass, you dumb Polak. Dumb Polak? Have you known the Polish people are proud, noble people? Why, it was back in 1853 that a Polish inventor by the name of Johnny Krapinski invented the toilet. Big deal. Five years later, the Germans perfected it. Oh yeah, how's that? They put a hole in it. <laughs> All right, you. Come on now, you're up here to entertain these people. You definitely insulted these ladies here. You apologize to them. Apologize right now. I'm very, very sorry. Can we kiss and make up? <laughs> Have you ever kissed a parrot before? Bet you kissed a cockatoo. <laughs> Three, four, hey! something entertaining now. You better entertain these people now, damn it. You can't be talking like that. What are you going to do? I can do an impression. Oh, yeah? What do you do? I'm going to do Snoop Dogg, and you're going to be a fire hydrant. <laughs> you suck. You wrote this shit. I'm up here dying. Mean people suck. Nice people swallow. You're a nice lady, aren't you? Hey! hey! Man, you can't, you're you going to get us run out of here, man. They're going to kick our butts. They're gonna cook your goose, and I don't taste like chicken. <laughs> all right, all right. Damn, you see that lady that just walked in here? Look at her good. Look at the shitter on that critter. Hey, knock it off now. It's enough now. You behave yourself. Now, you said you could do an impression. Now, do a good impression. I could do a hen with PMS. A hen with PMS? That suck. I'll do a bluebird or a blackbird. Don't be picking on no blackbirds here. The brothers are going to let you have it. All right, all right, here we go. Well, hello, Polly. Well, hello, Polly. It's so nice to have you back right here below. Oh, you're looking swell, Polly. I can tell, Polly. Polly wants a white girl. Which reminds me, I would have had sex last night, but your hand fell asleep. That's enough now. There's no way to be talking about my sex life like that up here. You're way out of line here. You did a blackbird. You did, what else you do? I could do a woodpecker. Oh, you do a woodpecker, do you? Woody woodpecker? Sure. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Knock it off! <laughs> Damn it, I can't take you anywhere. I'm going to put you back in your case. Oh, not the case. The case is scary. It reminds me of my youth. When I was an egg, stuffed in a box with 11 other guys. What's so scary about being an egg? You only get laid once, you only get eaten once, and the only one to sit in your face is your mother. Hey, leave my mother out of this. I'll leave this out of your mother. Listen, you foul-mouthed nasty bird, I'm not going to stand for that. Well, sit down, kid. It's obvious to this audience that you're no ventriloquist. Well, yeah, what makes you say that? I'm no flocking dummy. <laughs> flocking? You won't let me say fucking. Hey! That's it now. Well, now you're here in Elkton. What do you like doing the most? Your old lady when you ain't looking. <laughs> All right now. It's enough now. They got a chicken ranch here. Oh, they got a chicken ranch here? Yeah, the guy with the $100 bill, he took me. All right, all right. Did you have a good time? I sure did. I was a Linda Love Feathers. Linda Love Feathers? She's a swallow. <laughs> Bernie. She's a judge, too, you know. Oh, she's a judge, is she? That's right. She offered me her honor, and I honored her offer. And all night long, was offered honor and honor and honor. Hey, hey, hey. You're laughing at my sex life, you fat bastard. I woke up with chirpies. <laughs> chirpies? What the hell is that? It's a canarial disease. <laughs> Bernie, that's terrible. Ask her, it's tweetable. All right, all right. As long as you had a good time. I sure did. We were on a waterbed. She threw me down, sat on my face, called me Pinocchio, and told me to lie to her. As long as you had a good time. I sure did. We were going faster and faster. It was getting hotter and hotter. She called me Skipper. Told me I was doing three knots. Three knots? Yeah. She said I was not hard, not in, and not getting a refund. <laughs> You guys are small, but you're mighty. Great crowd, great crowd. I feel it's kind of an intimate crowd here tonight. I feel like I'm in my living room, so I guess it's okay if I scratch my nuts and fart, right? All right. Before I bring up your head.